Hi everyone, it's Laura Milligan, and I'm getting ready to start my Facebook Live. So just give me a minute here. I'm gonna make sure I'm in the right place, and I'm gonna straighten up my paper here a little bit. I'm trying a different setup today, so we'll see how that works. And I think I'm about one minute early, um, so I'm just gonna wait a minute. Okay, I see some people hopping on to watch. Thank you for joining me today. Um, yeah, and a couple more people on. Thank you, everybody. So I, um, today I am featuring what I'm calling the most fun bundle in our January to June mini catalog. I'll talk about that in a minute. But before I do anything, I'm gonna wait just another second here or two to make sure people are finding me and um, able to join in today. Okay, so the first thing I always do when I do my Facebook Lives is to give away the cards that I made on the previous week. And so these are the cards and hi Candy. Hi Colleen, good to see you all. Um, you know what, let me do something here. Okay, I'm trying to get that, there we go, all right. Oh, hi Linda, how are you? Hi Sherry, thanks for joining me everybody. So these are the two cards that I made last week and I um, did a random draw of everyone that made a comment or that shared my Facebook Live and I the names I picked were Debbie Gibbons. I don't know if she's watching today, but Debbie, I'll be sending this card to you. And then Jean Herrick, I'll be sending this one to you. I got a lot of really great response from these two cards. And, and I want to be sure to direct you to my blog, which is lauramilligan.com, because I did share some other things um, featuring this stamp set, be, featuring this suite um, last week on my blog. So be sure to hop over there and check it out. It's just lauramilligan.com. All right, so uh, Debbie and Jean, I will be putting these in the mail for you today. So today I am showcasing the most fun suite. To me it is, it's adorable and you can't use any of the products from this suite without smiling. I guarantee it will put a smile on your face. And yes, Colleen, I agree. I wish I was at the beach too. It's my absolute favorite place. So. This suite is called Snail Mail, and um, I always want to point out, this is a sweet collection, and I love that Stampin' Up! does this because normally when you, when you like something, when you're drawn to a certain uh, set of products, you probably want the whole thing. You want to get the coordinating designer paper and the stamp set and the embellishments and that sort of thing. And so what Stampin' Up! has done is created a sweet collection and that is this number right here, 155986, it's 6950. And for that, you get one of everything that you see here on this page. So you get the stamp set, you get the dies, the coordinating twine in Blushing Bride and Whisper White, the resin hearts, I love those, and then the wonderful, wonderful, adorable paper. So, hi Terry, how are you? Um, so I wanted to show you these products real quick. I'm gonna be using actually most of the things in that sweet collection today. <coughs> Excuse me, but I wanna just quickly, before I start stamping, I want to show you, um, this is the stamp set, super cute images, and then these are the coordinating dies. And there's some cool shapes in here. Um, this square, it has like a really cool edge and it's actually, it reminds me of a, the edge you would find on a postage stamp. And I'm sure that Stampin' Up! did that on purpose. They're pretty smart that way. Cute little envelope, mushrooms, which let me show you, I'm not using them today, but look how adorable these mushrooms are. I, I die cut these when I was stamping last week just because I wanted to see what they look like. Are they not the cutest? I think they're really cute. So let me take those away. And then of course you have the dies that coordinate with the stamps. So for example, this one, 
I think that's the one. Yeah, that coordinates with that. And there's one for this size as well. But <coughs> I'm sorry. The other cool thing, of course, is the designer paper. And look how cute. Like I said, it just makes you smile. They're just too cute. Love the heart pattern. Snail. And I want to point out, so this... I love when Stampin' Up! does this. They have coordinated not only the stamp set and the dies, but also the designer paper. So some of the dies that you'll get in this set will cut out images from the designer paper, which makes it really quick and easy to make a card. Let me show you. There's word bubbles, envelopes, really cute snails, and then of course the back are just some different patterns that are also really cute. Look at the mushrooms. <clears throat> big mushrooms and little mushrooms. So that's the paper. It does come 12 by 12, but I always cut it six by six. It's easier for me to show you when I'm doing a live. Set these aside. So on my blog today, late, probably later this afternoon, <clears throat> I'll be sharing this card. And this is one that I made that will um, be posted. I'll do a tutorial and that will be up on my blog uh, later today. So this is just one of one of one idea for what you can use these products for. And you can see, like this snail here was cut out of the designer paper, as was this word bubble. And these are just strips of designer paper. This little dot, I want to point out, this is really cool. So in the stamp set is this little word bubble. And when I was taking this, taking a look at these stamps and taking them apart, I noticed that there was a circle cut out of the center of this word bubble. And that's so that when you're stamping it, you don't get a blob of ink in the middle of your word bubble. But I realized that that could be used as a stamp. So I put it on my um, clear block, and that's what I used to create these cute little polka dots on the back of this card. So there's a little tip for you. Hi, Debbie. I don't know if you knew, Debbie, if you were on at the beginning, but you won one of the cards from last week, so I'll be sending that to you in the mail. All right, now I have two cards I'm gonna create for you today. If you share this post, if you like my post, leave a comment. Um, I will share my, um, I will draw, I'll do a random draw next Monday, right before I go live, and you may be the winner of one of the cards. So be sure to like it and share it and comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you like about this bundle. Do you think these snails are adorable? Because I sure do. All right, my first card today, let me pull my little packet over here. This is a fun card and let me pull out my parts and pieces. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside for a minute. So I am using a blushing bride, brushing, sorry, blushing bride card base, and I took a panel that is four by five and a quarter, and I ran it through my subtle embossing folder. And the subtle embossing folder is just that; it is subtle. It just adds. I don't even know if you can see it, but it just adds. A little bit of light texture to your to your to your layer and I, I love that look so that's the subtle embossing folder so I'm gonna grab my hi Lisa how are you hi Patricia yes I love this set too it is just fun well, I'm gonna add this panel here it's four by five and a quarter and then I am going to take I actually have already done this. I used, this is probably one of my favorite dies in this set. It's this and it's a little stitched envelope. So I've already run that through. I chose the mushroom designer paper because I thought it was so cute. So that would just go like that and I'd run it through my stamp and cut and emboss machine. And then I put it together and it's already scored and everything. And so I'm going to fold up the bottom first and then I'm just going to attach it. I'll hold it together with some glue dots. So let me grab my glue dots and I'll just put them on the back side of these flaps. Hi, 
Paula. Good to see it, or good to see that you're on today. Okay, so I'm gonna fold the bottom up and then I'm gonna bring these sides in like that to create my little envelope. And then I took some of the designer paper, these little hearts, which are so sweet, and I cut that with one of the dies also from this set. These are called the snails, snail, snail dies. I cut this out and see what I mean about the edge of this, how it looks like a postage stamp, how they would look. Um, and it also has stitching on it. So I'm gonna put my envelope right on that designer paper. But before I do that, I'm going to take some of my twine. This is a combo pack um, in this suite. It comes with the Blushing Bride and the Whisper White. And I'm just going to wrap this around. And you all probably know my trick by now. I like to wrap it around. This is nice because the Baker's Twine can go right into those little edges there. I like to wrap mine around and then I'm gonna cut it off with my paper snips. And I'm gonna attach, hold these in place with some dimensionals. I'll move this up a little bit, okay. So I'm gonna grab my dimensionals. I'm gonna put those right there. Those just hold the ends and I'm gonna pop this panel up anyway. So I just like that they reinforce that. And then I'll just put one at the top and one down here at the bottom. And I'll pull this backing off. And when I'm doing these Facebook Lives, I usually just take these backings off and throw them on the floor. And then of course I have to vacuum later, but it just, it seems to work. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna just put that right here on the lower right-hand corner. And then this is gonna go over the top of that. And I am gonna pop this up. So I'm gonna do that right now. Put one at the top and one at the bottom. Throw some more of these on the floor. And that'll just be placed right there like that. And then this little snail came right out of the designer series paper. Let me pull that piece in. There's Charlie. He's not snoring today. He must think the mailman's coming or something. So I just positioned this over my designer paper and cut her out, which makes it really easy. So she's gonna just rest right in there. And then I cut out, this is my other favorite die I think in this. It's this teeny little, it's like a little card, like a note card, a postcard, that kind of a thing, a little letter, and they fit in the envelopes. So I cut a couple of those out and I'm going to stamp on them and they're stitched around the edge. Is that, isn't that cute? I just think it's super cute. So I'm gonna use my Real Red ink and let me bring this in here. And I'm gonna have these going this way because I wanted some height behind my snail so I'm gonna start with my hello. This is real red ink, and I'm gonna just stamp it up here towards the top. And then I'll do my little heart. And again, sort of towards the top, looks good. I'm gonna put my ink, well, I'm, you know what, I'm gonna just set that aside for a minute because I wanna do a little bit more stamping. All right, so now I'm gonna just put this together. Um, I am going to attach First, I'm gonna attach this one, and I'm just going to use a glue dot, if I can find them. Things disappear when I'm doing this. All right, so I'm gonna put the glue dot behind this so that I can attach it from the back. And I'm gonna just angle it, it's gonna go up like that, and I'm fine with it going over the edge of my red square. I think it's still, there's enough contrast. It'll be cute. Okay, and then, I'll add this one and that's gonna just kind of go here like this. I'll just angle both of them. So I'm gonna put, again, I'll just use a little glue dot in the back of this. And I'll 
I'll put that. I want it to be a little bit lower than that one, so I'll just put, put that about right there. So that's good. And then I'll just slide my little snail in there. So she's just going to rest in there like that. Is she not cute? <laughs> and I'm actually, I'm going to move this up a little bit now that I see where it is. I want those to be a little bit taller. And then I'll go ahead and put some adhesive, whoops, adhesive on the back of her. And then I'll just slide her right in the envelope. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to, and then again, I can adjust this. I'm going to angle this one. I think I'll just do it like that. There we go. And I'll just push down again to make sure those glue dots are attached. Okay, so that, and then, um, don't you think that is cute? I, I don't think you can get much cuter than that, personally. Okay, now I'm going to tie a bow. And you know, if you watch my Facebook Lives, oftentimes when I'm using Baker's Twine or Ribbon, I attach it in the back and then I tie my bow separately, which is what I'm going to do right now. So I'll go ahead and tie my bow. And I don't want it to be too big of a bow. That looks, that looks pretty good. Okay. And I'll go ahead and trim these a little bit. And then again, I'll use a glue dot and I'll just tuck that right, I'm gonna just tuck that in place right there. And I'm gonna kind of squish it together. Okay, so that's just gonna be tucked right there so that it almost looks like I did this in one just with the same piece of Baker's twine. It's a little secret. So don't tell anybody our secret, right? <laughs> They'll think we're so good at tying, wrapping and tying bows, but I think that's an easier way to do it. And then I cut out um, a red heart and there are actually two of those in the die, in the die set. So that's nice if you need several of them, you can cut a couple up couple of them out at the same time. So I'm gonna just add a glue dot to the back of this. Whoop. My friend Renee is here today and we've been busy. She comes and helps me a couple times a week and um, we've been prepping for a class today. So, so there is the card and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a couple of these little, um, resin heart embellishments. They are adorable too. And I'm just going to take, I think I'll put one right up here. You know what? I think I'll put two there just like that. All right. So there's the front of the card and on the inside, then I'll just add I always like to add a quarter panel, four by five and a quarter. I think it just finishes the card. I do this on every card that I send, unless it's a thick wisp or a thick basic white card base, then it doesn't need it because it's already white on the inside. Oh, I just got to the end of my snail. Let's see if I have another one. Here's one. Okay. I've been going through a lot of that stamp and seal lately. Okay, so there's that. Of course, you could also do, um, you could stamp something on here. There's a cute greeting. It says you snailed it, which would be perfect for like a con congratulatory card. Um, but I thought, I think what I'm going to do is just put that little heart there just to finish it off. And then I wanted to show you, um, so there's the card. And then I wanted to show you um, something that's fun to do with the envelope and most of you probably know this but just want to make sure if you haven't done this before it's a great way to dress up your envelope so what I'm going to do is just take this is a piece of the designer paper of course and it coordinates with my card front so what I'm going to do is just put my seal as close as I can to the edge of the flap of the envelope and I'm putting it on you can see a pretty solid line all the way around and then I'm just going to take this piece and bring it right up to the fold of the flap like this 
Have you all seen this before? I'm assuming that you have. Okay, so this is just a quick way to dress up the back of the envelope. So now all you have to do is use the envelope flap as your template and just cut around this. And it will look super cute. When someone gets it in the mail, this in the mail, they are, they're just gonna start smiling as soon as they see the envelope, right? Okay, so we're just gonna cut around there like that. And there you have a cute, cute envelope. And then I like to stamp something on the front as well. And so I'm going to use the You've Got Mail stamp from this set. And I'm gonna stamp it in real red ink. And I'll just do that right on the side here, like that. How cute, super cute. Okay, so there's that one. Now don't forget to leave a comment and you may be the lucky person to win this card next week. Okay, so there's my, that's card number one. And then I have one other card I'm going to make. This is fun. So this one was inspired by this card um, in the catalog, the mailbox with the envelopes pouring out. And of course, since this is the en little envelope is my favorite die in this set, I thought, okay, I really need, I need to mail, I need to make one of those. So um, let me pull out, pull in the parts and pieces for this one. I've already done the die cutting ahead of time. Um, we have an amazing new, um, die cutting machine, the stamp and cut and emboss. And now we have a new one. Let me just bring this in and show you. This is the mini one and it is perfect for picking up and carrying anywhere you need it if you're crafting at a different place or maybe going to someone's house. But it works just like our large one. It closes almost like a little purse and then you just open it up you would use it. Here's the cutting plates. Look how cute. They're probably three inches across. Super, super cute. But I've just gone ahead and already done the die cutting because this one has um, quite a few parts and pieces to it. All right, so I am starting with a basic white thick card base. Oops. And then I'm going to layer a piece of the designer paper. There's what's on the back. That's even cute too. Some of the designer paper, you know, it's hard to um, decide which side you want to use because it's all cute. All right, so I'm just going to put that there. I've cut out all these little envelopes. And on this this one, I have a white one here. I'm gonna seal these, seal this one up, but what I wanna do before I seal it up is to stamp the heart. I guess I need to flatten it out. I should have flattened it out. Okay, so I'm gonna put that right there. And then the other stamping, I have one of these cute little postcard things, and I'll stamp hello on that, also with real red. Okay, so there's that. And then um, I'll just put these envelopes together. So for this one, since I'm not gonna be putting anything inside it, I can go ahead and just use my regular adhesive to hold that together. Yeah, and I should, I got a little bit too much on that. I should be able to wipe that off. Let's see if I can get that off of there. You know what, I have this, um, we used to sell these, we don't anymore. It's an adhesive remover and it's perfect for when you do a little boo-boo like I just did. Let's see if I can get it off without making too much of a mess. Okay, I got most of it off. All right, maybe I can just rub it with my hand too. There we go. Okay, so there's my little card. And then I'm also going to do a blue one and a pink one. The pink one I'm gonna leave open because I'm gonna slip this little hello card in there. So I think, 
Yeah, so let me just put some adhesive. I'll do the same thing. I just need to be careful that I don't put so much on there, right? And actually what I should have done is if you put the adhesive on the back of this flap, then it's, it will be right where it needs to be. So there's, that's, that's probably a better way to do that. All right, then I'm gonna do my pink envelope. And let me see here. This one is gonna be open. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use glue dots to hold these little flaps down. So let me grab my glue dots. Put one there and I'll put one there. Oops. Okay, whoops, and that's not, you know, I'm gonna add a little, I need to put a glue dot on the tip of that. So let me grab that. That one's gonna be closed, okay. So there are my envelopes. This is gonna just slide right in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach that with a glue dot as well. This card has a lot of parts and pieces to it, but I think that's what makes it so cute. You probably wouldn't want to like mass produce this card, but it's, it's a special card to send to somebody. All right, so I'll just slide that down there about like that. Okay, so there's our little cards that are gonna go in the mailbox. Next thing I did was cut, I used this die, this large die, and cut that out in pool party, pool party cardstock. I'm gonna need this little snail, and she does not have a die that goes with her, so I'm gonna real quickly cut her out. And you know, the trick for fussy cutting is you turn your paper, if you hold your scissors still and turn your paper, you get a better edge to your cutting. I'm not that good at fussy cutting. I personally prefer the dies, but sometimes you have to cut things out and I do my best. Some of you are probably a lot better at this than I am, but this shape isn't too hard to cut out. But we are spoiled by all the dies and punches that we have, aren't we? <laughs> Okay, so there's there she is. I'm gonna set her aside for a minute. And the next thing we need to do is another stamp. Um, we're gonna stamp on this and I'm gonna have to cut this out as well. This is the one that says Happy Mail Enclosed. So I'm gonna get all my stamping done and then we'll put this all together. Okay, so that's... And before I cut this out, I'm gonna add um, some color to this, to the envelope. I'm gonna use my Pool Party Dark Blend and just add some color. And I'm not really gonna get too fancy with this coloring, just pretty much color it in. Can make it a little bit darker on this side to create like a shadow here. Okay, so then I'm gonna take my paper snips and cut this out. This is really easy to cut, it's just a rectangle. Okay, so there's that. And then um, the next thing is the mailbox. So what I did for the mailbox, I'm gonna put my ink away so I don't get it on someplace where I don't want it to be. So what I did for the mailbox, I used two pieces and I will put these measurements on my blog. Um, okay. So the first, so this is the base of the mailbox. And the first thing I did was to take one of our layering square dies and just position this on the bottom like this because I wanted to make like some legs on the mailbox. So I, I cut that square shape out, just like a little rectangle. And then I put that and the lid, this is the top or lid to my mailbox. 
and I ran that through my um, cut and emboss machine. I used the Tasteful Textile die, I, or I'm sorry, embossing folder. I wanted it to, to have a little bit of texture. It would be fine just the solid red on its own, but I like to add texture when I can. So that's my the base of my um, mailbox. And so now we're just gonna put this whole thing together. So to put it together, I'm gonna start with the top. I'm gonna put that down first. So I'm gonna add my adhesive. This textile embossing folder, a lot of people call this the paper towel embossing folder. And I don't know how well you can see that, but it does look like um, a paper towel. Okay, so I'm gonna just center this Probably, I'm gonna move it down a teeny bit. Maybe, I don't know, half inch or so from the top. Put that down. Now I'm gonna put my um, envelopes in place. And this one, I'm going to really quickly add a glue dot to this because I don't want it to pop open. Okay. All right. And now I'm just gonna position these. Um, I'm gonna position them on here and then I'll be adding the base of the mailbox. So I wanna be sure, I don't wanna go over the edge and I wanna be sure that some of these look like they're actually popping out of the mailbox. So I'm gonna start by, I'll attach this one first. And I'm gonna angle that one like this. Okay. Then I'm gonna add this one and again, I'll put some adhesive on the back so that it sticks. And actually, this one I'm going to tuck right behind there like that. And it's, ju it's just a hair below like the edge of the card, so it'll be fine. And then I'm going to attach my pink one. And that's going to just overlap all of these. That's going to be like that. So just a little bit of that blue one's gonna show. So that'll be about like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this. This is a fun card. It's fun to make. And I'll just put that, I'll just put that like there. Put that about right there. Okay, so there's my envelopes coming, falling out of the mailbox. And then I'm just gonna take my box and I'll pop this up with dimensionals and that's just gonna fit over all those little little letters. So we'll go ahead and add dimensionals to these. Pull the backing off. I love the tiny envelopes. Colleen, I'm with you. I think they're so cute. All right, so I'm gonna put this in place and this is where I blob that, is, that adhesive, and so luckily I can cover most of that up so that no one will know I made a boo-boo. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach that, and there's my mailbox, and then I'm going to, um, this is gonna go on the center of it. So I'll go ahead and position this. Right on the center of that, and that'll be placed right on the card or right on the box. Go ahead and add some adhesive. Like that. Okay. And then I have my sweet little snail and she's just going to rest right down there. And so I'll put a dimensional on the back of her as well. She's just going to sit right there. And then to finish this, I'm gonna find my little red and white hearts and I'll just, I'm gonna put one right on that right there, right on the flap of that envelope. And of course you could add more if you wanted to, but I thought that was kind of cute, just right there. Just fits right on there, just so cute. So there is my mailbox card and um, this set, you know, this set, I, like I said, it's so adorable, and it actually reminds me of um, when we were in grade school and we all made like our Valentine boxes for Valentine's Day, and we'd spend so much time 
creating them and, and um, you know, making Valentine's for everybody. And this set, for some reason, makes me think of that. So that's my card for today. Um, like I said, leave a comment and let me bring these this other one in here. Leave a comment and I'll do a drawing next Monday when I go live at one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and you could you have a chance to win one of these cards. Um, please go to my blog this week. I will be featuring, well, so these cards will be posted tomorrow. They will go up. So if you wanna read the measurements so that you can duplicate these, that'll be going up tomorrow. This card will be going up later today. It's simple and, and it's, it's a quick, cute way to make a make a card and get it in the mail. And then please just check back in my blog because I'm always adding new things and I will be releasing a new class this week um, featuring the Hey Birthday Chick stamp set and a new uh, new die, coordinated dies that are coming out um, in early February. So be sure to look for that. And thank you so much for watching today. And as always, I hope you have time to be creative today. Bye-bye, everybody. Uh -huh.